I guess I put this on the tripod weird because my eyesight, my eye line is all fucked. Anyways, it is October, oh, excuse me, October something. Look at all this mess. Look at it. In one of these videos, I cleaned, I think, a corner of my room. And it's still kind of clean. But I am so exhausted and tired. When I started Prozac, I got a boost, but I got anxious as well. And it's, it's settled, so I don't know if I should go up. But I feel kind of angry as well. I'm going to the behavioral health specialist tomorrow for like med medication. So we'll see what they say. I don't know if it's just not a powerful enough dose, but also it scares me to go up. I don't know. I'm, and even I slept so much last night. I slept so much. I just sleep and I'm so tired still like I'm just I'm just exhausted I feel like empty <laughs> I just feel like vacant <laughs> so Anyways, so I went outside and I had a bunch of fucking packages. So I thought we can open them up here. So I don't want it to be a big deal. Like, I don't want it to be a big deal. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit. And I'm going to show you what I got. But, yeah. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know how to pick myself up anymore. And it's like, I do these things that they're saying, like, coping mechanisms, right? I make a list, I check it twice, I write my thankful things, I, I'm i doing word search <laughs> word search puzzles, which help me like focus. I, well, I'm reading a comic book currently. I was watching Hunter x Hunter, but now that's over. Maybe that's a little thing too, where I'm like kind of depressed by it, kind of wasn't my favorite ending but also i really liked the last two seasons so i guess i shouldn't complain i also like that it ended the idea of watching 500 million fucking episodes like irritates me too like i'm a consumer so then and then i want to consume all of them so i can't like function in reality or life it's a problem i have on youtube too where it's like i have friends on youtube and i have you know other videos that I want to watch and I have a fucking playlist that's like 2,000 videos like how the fuck am I gonna do that that's like a month of just staring at YouTube um even with television shows I'm like that podcasts I just don't function in that way that goes I'm just gonna watch the mythology episodes of X-Files that's just not who I am <laughs> It's why I'm a collector, that's why I'm a hoarder, that's why I have, I don't know, control issues maybe. <sighs> what is the place called? Does it say it on this? European Wax Center, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so I've been looking online. I use some of their products and I used to go in store to buy them and now they have they never had a like online pros presence until like the COVID hit. My eyes are just, I'm sorry. And this one's lazy. So it really bothers me because that's the position it goes to when it's lazy. So then I'm like, it's lazy, but really it's actually just looking in that direction. Um, my issues. So basically I went on their online site and I go a lot and I'm like oh I need to buy that oh I need to buy that um well they were having a sell so I went ahead and bought some stuff um so I got this like brow pencil not brow pencil what is it called brush brush 
brow brush. Okay, so I thought this one was cool because it has the brush on this side and then it has the like draw, like the actual like, I'm gonna draw in my eyebrows brush on the other side because usually they don't have those. Well, mine don't have those. So I thought that was cool. Something I use all the time. So is the Reveal Me Face Ex uh, Exfoliant Gel Mask. So I use this about every two weeks. I haven't been doing that, hence my pimples and my life. Um, I use this prior to waxing and then after waxing. And it's so, it just like does wonders for my face. I'm not a very good um, regiment girl. And anytime I try to do a regiment, um, I kind of get fucked and I'll break out really bad for like, like too long. It's not like the, it's bringing out all the impurities. Like, bitch, those impurities are like <laughs> deep in there because I've been breaking out for like a year kind of thing. Um, which is why I have like uneven skin because one year, um, I think like two years ago, I was like, I'm going to be on top of my skin and, and, and make it really glow and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So now I have like scars all over my face because I, I tried. All right. Lesson learned. Don't try. So I bought four of these because I use them and they were $5. When I was doing like, um, partial hospitalization, they, Listed TV as an okay coping mechanism. I don't know how that's an okay coping mechanism, but it is apparently. <laughs> I always thought it was something that was kind of like damaging. It's not as damaging as like self harm, which is one of my biggest like like coping like toxic coping mechanisms. I have three three top coping mechanisms and the self-harm's the worst one obviously shopping is a really bad one that i know i do um and then um the other one is pacing i'll pace and i haven't been pacing which is weird i think i'm just lethargic but i pace usually at least an hour to five hours a day. Like literally it's, it can be a problem. Like I'll just, to me, it's a problem. And, and my therapist is like, that's your healthiest coping mechanism. And I'm just like, yeah, I guess so. Because also I'm like exercising and like, I don't know, but I, I pace <laughs> like crazy. I'm one of those people that paces. So but I guess to me it's toxic because uh, when I do it for five hours or like, I'm going to be truthful. One day I, I've, I've paced for like when I woke up to the end of the day, <laughs> like I've stopped for like a here and there situation, but then I'll just get back to pacing. Sometimes I'll try to focus on something else and then I'll just pace, 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 pace. I don't know what's wrong with me. So but apparently that's my healthy ass one. So she says I can keep it. <laughs> All right, we got an Amazon thing. These are not going to be exciting stuff either. It's not like, woo, look at what I got, woo. I think these are more like necessity, necessity items. Oh, so I recently dropped my camera and I broke it. Like I'm really sad about it. Like the, um, my brain just went dead. <laughs> my brain just went dead. The screen, it swivels up. It's not cracked or anything. It's just in the back when it goes in, like basically when it flips up and it flips back down, um, it's supposed to like snap into these little prongs and it doesn't, it doesn't snap anymore. It's misaligned. So I'm pissed off about it. And then I was thinking about getting this new camera, this other camera, and I was thinking about like saving up and getting it, um, for upcoming, hopefully <sighs> DIYs. So 
I was thinking about it. I was thinking about getting it. But now I'm like, should I replace this camera? Should I go get this one healed? Until I do, until I make that decision, I got a box for it. <laughs> um, so that I can put this in there. And here it is. So it kind of matches um, another thing I have for it. So I have um, a box for all my SD cards and then I have a box for all of my um, batteries. So the battery box matches this box. So I thought it was cute. So it opens like this and you slide the camera in. So here is the back and I don't know if y'all can tell but it's kind of bent right here. So when it goes down you kind of have to forcefully close it. Did you hear it snap? Um, just because it's not in line anymore. But, so I thought, let's not fuck it up anymore. Oh, this has like a thing you hang it on, but I'm not gonna use that. So here we go, and we throw it in, and then it's nice and taken care of. Also, on it, I do have like a glass protector on the back, so that's nice. It probably would have shattered if not. Next up. We got medicine for my kitty cats. Woo, necessity. This is a weird haul on my non-haul channel. This is strange. Um, and then I got magnesium for my bones and my sleep. So this is supposed to help you sleep at night. Oh, this is from Kohl's. So a while back, I went to Kohl's. I did a haul about it. Didn't it it. Did it, did it, did it. But they're kind of like hot topic, only I don't like as much stuff. <laughs> Where they're like, here you go, 500 coupons on top of 500 coupons on top of 500 coupons. And I bought the things that day. I regret getting them at that time, but also I wouldn't have gotten the coupons, which led to the other things, which now lead to more things that I have to spend money on next week because they gave me more fucking coupons. <laughs> but I wanted the Uggs um, sandals like this. This is also by Uggs, but this is like, I guess their cheaper version. I DK, I don't know. Um, I don't know what makes it cheaper. Oh, it's flux fur instead of real fur. Though Uggs is a byproduct of um, the food industry, which I always liked uh, because uh, like, at least it's all of the animal that like gets used up. Sandals or flats are made to be abused. <laughs> Is that wrong to say? They're made to be abused. They should not look good <laughs> ever, except for the day you buy them, okay? Like boots, you know, you treat them a little bit better. The Turks, treat them a little bit better. Even like tennis shoes, I'm like, yeah, those need to go in their spots. They're precious. Sandals, flats, I'm like, no, bitch. You were made to be fucked with. Mostly because you tend to slip them on and do things around the house, especially when you get older. Because your feet hurt and your knees hurt because you're fat and you're annoying in life. I don't know. <laughs> I'm having a day. I got this purse. Is cute. It's pink and spooky and we love it. I got a new SD card because I kept filling mine. This is a broom, by the way. <laughs> I think the only exciting thing... I guess we got the purse, too. The shoes and the purse. Exciting. Um, but I, I really got practical stuff off Amazon. Here it is. So I actually have something like this, but it doesn't close. This one closes and then pops open. All right, here's the instructions. <laughs> so basically, um, yeah, this is really cool. I thought it was really cool. I have one already, but I like sweep up litter with it. So at a certain point I was like, you know, this is kind of gross. 
like now I go sweep up my kitchen, which is disgusting. Not like the kitchen touches anything, right? Like the kitchen floor, you know, it's not touching anything, right? But also I'm like still kind of disgusting, right? <laughs> I don't know. So I'm dedicating this one to like the kitchen, the hallways, and this room, and then the other one's going to be for litter. Here is F. Here is G. It's put together, woo! Okay, that's my old one. And it's amazing, it just clicks in and it just sits there. I do understand that like, oh, and it has this rubber bit. You see that rubber bit? I loved you. I love you. Maybe I'll look again. Maybe I'll just have three brooms all the time <laughs> if I find it. But then this is this one. It stands on its own, which I think is a selling point, right? It stands on its own. We like that, okay? But let's go to the kitchen. Like it just stands there. That's pretty cool. All right, so then you click out and then you move. It's very annoying, I guess, too, to like, you can't even see what I'm doing. Like, I just realized that it doesn't have a rubber thing. It just kind of has a slanted slope. Just kind of like, meh. But what I don't like the most is like, how do I say this? Okay, so here it is. So you flatten it out. Maybe that's what's wrong. So you sweep, sweep, sweep. Really do it you know, gather it and then, you know how to sweep, okay? I'm not teaching you how to sweep. This isn't a tutorial. So then you throw everything out, right? And then you do that, but the broom's not in. <laughs> and then if you have it like this, you're, what, my angle of my hand is weird to stuff this in. And then it's like using chopsticks, but like <laughs> with people on chopsticks. So maybe if I, I don't know how to explain that I am at what a, what would you call this? What is this called? 60 degree angle trying to put this in. <laughs> like, and then this is a six, this is almost a 90 degree angle. All my cats are like, what is she doing? <laughs> okay, let's flip this up. There's, there's gotta be some sort of skill to this. Okay. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, so, okay, we've done it. Woo! <laughs> it's not even close. <laughs> it's not close. We've done it. <laughs> it falls over, but it's not close. How do we, like what? I have to touch it? Like the whole point is that you don't touch it, right? And then it stands. The standing is cool. We give 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 for the standing, but like, I don't like that it doesn't have the rubbers. I do like the length of the uh, teeth right on. I don't like that you had to screw everything together because when I was moving everything, it felt like it was already unscrewing. And yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'm a fan, honestly. So it's kind of, it's, I don't know, this hole is just, <laughs> oh, we're going to have to look for another broom. I hate that one. The shoes are pretty comfy, honestly. They're not as comfy as the actual Uggs, but they're really nice, honestly. They look pretty punk rock too. People jump, but I don't want to because I'm an old lady. I don't want to function as a human being anymore. Do y'all want to function as human beings anymore? Look at it. It's like five right there. And I can't stop picking at them too. So bad. You know, you're not supposed to do that, D. And then yet, I cannot stop myself. So what do y'all think? Life? Yay or nay? <laughs>